All right, uh, today we have GW Basic running in a DOS box. And uh, this is a very old program, you can tell. Uh, look at the copyright dates. But I still play around with it. it GW Basic is fun. Line numbers are fun. Uh, today I'm going to be testing GW Basic with Raster Mastery. And also, if you don't like running DOS box, you can run. PC Basic, which is just a clone of GW Basic. It's written in Python and runs in Windows and Mac and Linux, I believe. But we're using the Windows version today. And uh, I'm going to be uh, testing uh, both GW Basic and PC Basic. Uh, PC Basic strives to be a complete clone, emulating features and bugs. So if there's a bug in GW Basic, PC Basic tries to emulate that as well. All right, so let's get into our routine here. As I always do, I'm going to start off by drawing a simple shape and importing it or exporting it uh, to a file. So let's see what we can draw today. A boat. A little car. Let's make it a red car. Okay, that kind of resembles a car. Let's just stick with that. All right. Uh, give it a backlight as well. Nope. There we go. And... Let's fill that in as well. Okay, it's as good as it's going to get. Um, and now let's uh, clip it. And export it. File, export, GW Basic. All right, and I'm going to be using Visual Studio to edit the source. Even though I still use GW Basic, uh, I don't like using the uh, interactive editor.
Okay, and that's the file we just generated. And uh, let me just make a copy of that and put it here. Save as. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of code. Uh, actually, let's do event A to C, option base one. And this has to be 50. Okay. And what I'm doing here is just writing a little bit of startup code to read all the contents of this array, all of this uh, data statements into an array. And we're going to display that image that I just created in uh, GWB6. So this should be the last line. And um, I think we're good. Unless I made any typos, this should work. And if we jump into GW Basic here, and load, um, let's see, demos, GW Basic one. And it didn't find it. Let's see why. Okay. Um, Did I save it somewhere else? Uh, let's see. DOS box demos, GW demo one. Okay, maybe I just spelt it wrong. Okay, I think I know why. I'm going to exit DOS boss, uh, DOS box and go back in there again. I think um, it doesn't refresh the uh, directory contents. So let's see if... Uh, there we go. There it is now. Okay, this is 
Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm just I'm just stupid tonight. I'm not typing the right name. Okay, there it is. And yeah, this looks like uh, what we typed in, except uh, GW Basic likes to capitalize things. So let's. Uh, do I have everything? No, I didn't actually set the, the proper screen. Let's do 65 screen 7. And yeah, that looks right. Let's see if. And there we go. Maybe I'll. I'll make it uh, more centered. And let's try now. And uh, more typos. All right. Did we? Yes, we did. There we go. So it's right here, all centered, well, almost all centered. Okay. Let's see if we can do the same thing in uh, in PC Basic. Uh, maybe I have it on my Y drive. Uh, so PC Basic allows you to map uh, certain folders as uh, drive letters. And so I think I'm just confusing my Y with my X drive. I think this should be it. Yep. Okay. There we go. Same thing again. Uh, let's put uh, 65 screen 7. So PC Basic uh, behaves very similar to uh, GW Basic. It's it's like if you didn't know it wasn't GW Basic, you you just go on using it like a you know you thought it was GW Basic all along. And uh, yep, it works the same. Uh, let's see if we can make this centered also. And even the uh, the commands to switch screens and screen size. There we go.
the uh, DOS box looks a little bigger, but that's my preference to setting the uh, DOS box. You can you can change your uh, resolution with DOS box to look uh, better. I, I find this uh, a better size. I can see the pixels a lot easier. But otherwise, it works the same way. And that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.